Okay, I'm inside a museum here. I know I said I wouldn't take any more videos for a while, but this has to be shown. Uh, these are some of the reliefs that were on buildings that were able to be preserved. And see, here's a statue. I'm not sure how old it is or even if it's from the Rome, the ancient Roman times, but it, it looks to be old and you might not be able to see it here on this video, but you, I can see that its left leg has been reconstructed and it looked like his right arm and maybe even his head was reconnected at the neck. Okay. Here's some more reliefs. Okay. Go over here. I'll never be able to get all of this stuff, but I'll get as much as I can. Matter of fact, here's the inside of the building. The Romans, they were definitely some master builders. They knew how to work with stone and marble. Some more mosaics. I, actually, a tour guide explained to me how a mosaic was created. What an artist would do is they would set up wet plaster as the area that they would do to their painting, almost like how you would write on paper. Instead of writing on paper, they were paint on wet plaster. All right, they would paint whatever image that they was trying to paint, but they had to do it quickly because wet plaster, of course, it has to dry. So they would paint an image such as this here while the plaster was wet, and as the plaster was drying, the plaster would absorb the colors. Within, uh, within the plaster itself. So that's why many of these mosaic paintings last for thousands of years. Uh, I, I would assume these are images of gladiators or slaves being executed. This guy right here is tied up, so he definitely must be a slave. And you see another one being executed here. Okay, I'm going to have to cut it short now.